so tired. Last night was rough. Ben was up last night. He doesn't usually wake up in the middle of the nights, but he had a dirty diaper. So Ty and I got up with him. We went and fed him like another bottle and changed his diaper and all of that. And he still wanted to go back to sleep. So I went in there for a second time because I could see on the monitor how he kept like biting his hands. So like it was obviously teething. Anyways, I gave him some for Genexa. Um, it's like a acetaminophen. And I don't know if that's what caused it or what. But as I'm like rocking him back to sleep and he's like laying on me and we're having this moment, he projectile vomits all over my face, all over my shirt. I'm not even joking. It was literally terrible. I've never experienced this in my life as being a mother. When you taste your child's vomit, you instantly level up as a mom, <laughs> like instantly. So if you're wondering why I'm tired, that would be why. Also, I just had trouble sleeping last night, like up until the point that I had to get up with Ben, I was just tossing and turning. It was one of those nights and it was really hard to get out of bed this morning. Anyways, I have Scarlett's mac and cheese in the microwave cooking for her lunch for school. I'm gonna get her lunch packed. She's in her room getting ready been still sleeping as expected good morning this is the kids fresh mac and cheese it's really cheesy yeah oh okay you get your Okay, she's on. In other news, we did go ahead and start transitioning Ben to like milk instead of formula, and he's been doing great. And I don't think that had anything to do with the throw up last night. I really think it was just like a mix of too much to drink, too fast, and taking medicine. So I think that was the problem. But I have been doing half formula, half milk, just because I don't want to waste her formula. Um, and I'm pretty sure I could do all milk. This is what we're using, by the way. The Horizon Vitamin D. Uh, I shared this in my most recent What I Feed My Baby in a Day video. If you guys haven't seen that, you should go check it out because it turned out really cute. But yeah, this is what we've been doing and he's had no problems. I'm also trying to get him off of having like a warmed up bottle because the baby Brezza makes it warm and I've been trying to get him used to not having something warm. I feel like this has been more of a me problem than a Ben problem. He's transitioned just fine, honestly. It's been me having anxiety about it. Ben's awake, I'm gonna go get him up. Today's video is gonna be a day in the life vlog, but um, we're also gonna put up our Christmas decor. I am so excited, I'm very ready. We're actually gonna be here for the holidays this year, so I'm excited to decorate a little bit more than I did last year. I think last year we only put up the tree, but I also had a newborn, so I feel like I had that as an excuse also. We are on a schedule where we travel back to see my family in Kansas every other year, and I'm definitely gonna have FOMO this year because we're not going back, but it is also gonna be really nice to be in our home for Christmas morning. Honey Bear was also a victim, and I don't have enough time, I don't think, between his nap and now to wash him. So I'm just gonna hand wash him in the sink with some laundry soap. This has been baby, his favorite. Um, he has to have him to sleep. And then I'll just probably throw him in the dryer. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I'm going to. All right, we're doing breakfast. Ben's having one of his banana, oat, blueberry, raspberry pancakes that I make him and keep in the freezer and a Stony Fields yogurt. And I'm about to eat an Oikos Pro yogurt. It has 20 grams of protein in it and some birthday cake granola by Safe and Fair. This is my favorite breakfast currently, my favorite snack, my favorite dessert. I love this combo so much. You guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about it, but it's so good. I am currently getting ready for the day. I'm about to do my skincare. I just put Ben down for a nap. He's protesting it though, so we'll see how this goes. Just kidding, he literally just fell asleep. I wanted to share some of my current favorite skincare products. They're by City Beauty. They are cruelty-free, they are research-based, and they are clean beauty. I have been able to partner with them for today's video, so I am gonna share a little bit about them. And on top of that, they are offering a really good sale right now. Their entire site is 40% off. No discount code needed. It automatically applies at checkout, and the sale goes from November 22nd to November 27th. Here's the first product that I'm really loving. It's their Uplift Firming Serum. I use this serum all over my face, and I feel like this one like moisturizes my skin but also
tightens it. This formula is designed to help recharge the appearance of your skin, help with fine lines, wrinkles, sagging skin, all of that. It's gonna really help firm and lift. Their multi-aging sculpting cream is where it's at though. I love this moisturizer so much. I've been using this morning and night. It's a very thick cream. I'm already like a fourth of the way through it. So I like to just apply this kind of all over just like this. And I really like to make sure I get my neck good. This moisturizer is gonna give you a tight, smooth finish. I love this brand because a lot of their products are focused on promoting collagen and elastin, which is gonna give you a more youthful appearance. It's gonna help target those fine lines, the wrinkles, the uh, saggy skin, the loose skin, all of that. It's gonna give your skin just a nice, good firmness to it. So I love, love, love this moisturizer. And then this is an amazing product. This is the City Lips Night Oil. I put this on my lips every night, but I also wear it during the day sometimes too when I just need a little something on my lips. But it is ultra, moisturizing. My lips in the morning are so moisturized after I put this on at night. Not only does City Beauty offer skincare products, they also have some really good makeup products. You guys know I love a good lip plumping gloss. I've recently been wearing their City Lips Plumping Lip Gloss in the color Nude York. You guys, this is beautiful. I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll put this on last and show you guys what it looks like. I also have just their clear color too, which I actually really like wearing this when I go work out. When I go work out, I like just a little something on my lips and something super natural like this clear lip plumping gloss is awesome. Let's do my makeup and then we'll put these on last. I'm gonna rub in this oil that I put on so I can put on the lip gloss and show you guys. Let's use Nude York because this is my favorite color. It is the perfect neutral. It has just a tiny bit of color and I love a good shine. That's my favorite thing to have on my lips is something with a good shine. I love a gloss. Look at that like instant plump it gives my lips. This is my everyday go-to now. It moisturizes and plumps my lips at the same time. Anyways, I am ready for the day. These City Beauty products are truly amazing. I love them so much. Go check out their sale. Entire site is 40% off. Again, you do not need a code or anything. The discount will automatically apply at checkout. I'll have City Beauty linked down below in the description box. You guys can easily shop them. I'm gonna make a salad. I have this chicken taco meat that I made a couple of nights ago that needs to be eaten up today. There's kind of a lot in here but we're gonna heat it all up and eat it all make this a very high protein lunch just kidding i pulled some out for ben i'll heat this up for him for lunch when he's awake but he's still napping anyways i had half of this bag salad kit the other night uh yeah i think it's still good and then i have like the leftover dressing from it too i'm also going to heat up some corn and add that on top of my salad i think this is like a green avocado dressing. I'm not entirely sure to be completely honest. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down and eat this. As far as rest of the plans go for the day, going to the gym, obviously, got my workout clothes on. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is for the gym today. I need to talk to Ty still. He's got some real estate stuff and some showings to do today, but we're gonna try to go together. We've been really trying to work out together just because it gives us like time together you know we are both so busy and some dedicated time that we have for like each other is when we work out together it's always like our little date time so we've really been intentionally trying to plan our days around working out together and it's been really cool I've really enjoyed it we take Ben to the gym daycare and we try to go when Scarlett's at school because she doesn't always love going anymore she's kind of like getting too cool and too old for that you know um, but she has to come with us sometimes it just doesn't work out always during the day and we need to go to the storage unit to get all of our Christmas stuff because that's where we have everything stored. Fun fact, most houses in Arizona have terrible storage, terrible storage. I grew up in the Midwest, I grew up in Kansas and Colorado where we have basements and basements are normal and like every house has a basement, but here you don't have basements. If there's a house with a basement in Arizona, at least in like the Phoenix area, it is very rare, very rare. You don't see those a lot. Needless to say, I do miss basements a lot. We have an entire podcast on this actually. The only storage we have in our house, like other than a closet and a bedroom, is one tiny little closet in our hallway. And then we have an attic that has a very small space, but it's very hard to get to. And then we have a garage, that's literally it. And the garage is not that big. And that's where we store all, all of the Lollico stuff. So storage here is terrible. So anyways, we store all of our holiday stuff and extra Lollico stuff at our um, like storage unit that we have. Ben is up from his nap. He's eating some lunch before we head to the gym. So creatine, 
monohydrate. One of the absolute best supplements you can ever take. It's good for brain health, it's good for recovery, it's good for fatigue. Do your research, creatine is such an awesome supplement. One of the best supplements you can take, in my opinion. Anyways, I usually add this to my pre-workout. However, we are out of pre-workout. We ordered Gorilla. Ty like swears by it. So we ordered that, it should be in, I think in two days. Um, so I don't have any pre-workout today, but I need to get this creatine down. This is flavorless. I just don't like drinking it like this, honestly. I don't know why, but like the cloudy water vibe is not it. <sighs> Literally tastes like nothing. Cute workout set is from Lululemon. I just got these shoes at the Nike outlet. They're an awesome lifting shoe. They're by Nike and it's hard to tell, but they're like a very, very light shade of pink. They're so cute. I love them. They've been extremely comfortable. I did go up a half size, but they're my new lifting shoes. I love them so much. Also, my mirror is insanely dirty right now. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, it's 2.20. We are home from the gym. Ben did so good today in the gym daycare. He's down here eating a snack. He had a good time. We're very festive today in our green and red too. Mm. He's eating these little eensy, mm, eensy teensy bitty gummy bites. I don't know what they're called. Anyways, I'm gonna put him down for a nap. Ty's gonna grab Scarlett from school and then come home. I think he might have a showing though afterwards. I don't know exactly. I'm not entirely sure what his plans are yet, but we do have plans to go to the storage unit. We've gotta go get Christmas stuff today. We'll see how much we can actually get decorated, but at least we need to like go there and bring it to our house, right? Say yes. Yes. Do you want more? Do you want more? 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 More food? Okay, hold on. More? All right, now we're gonna eat some of these Amara yogurt bites. Let's finish this bag off. Oh, we don't have very many. Oh, we've got one left, wow. These are the gummies he was eating. Teensy snacks, <laughs> like plump organics. Ben's new favorite place is to be in the backyard. <laughs> he loves coming out here. And he's also emotionally attached to this brush right now. Oh, rocks. We are gonna go to the storage unit and get our Christmas stuff, but I just created a Facebook group, by the way, anybody who's interested for like fitness and health mamas. And in that group, we're gonna talk all things like fitness and health, obviously. But I also want it to be like a safe place for people to ask questions or get advice or share like little victories or healthy recipes, really anything like that. Um, so that is my goal for the Facebook group and um, I'm gonna link it below if you wanna join. If you're interested in any of that, we're gonna be talking all things there. We already have so many members. Like I literally just created it and so many people joined. So it makes me so happy. So yeah, definitely go check that out if you're interested in connecting with some like-minded moms when it comes to like health and fitness and that kind of thing. Um, I'm really excited for it and I think it's gonna be a really cool community. We just got to the storage unit, been still emotionally attached to this brush. <laughs> it is going with us everywhere. Come on, let's go. We have a indoor storage unit because we have to store our shampoo and conditioner here. Um, all of like the extra product that we have the back stock for Lolly Co. Christmas, there's our tree. Christmas tree is there. Tree yeah, let's just go ahead and grab that and then I can go through these and see what we need. I don't know if we need it at all. Just watch Ben because I don't want to I'll just continue to hold him. I don't know how I'm really gonna help here. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, love you. <laughs> I gotta watch you in here, bud. Mm, this looks like a dangerous place for babies. <laughs> He's coming for you. Like I'm forever young And that's 
<laughs> he just put himself inside this. Oh, kisses. So many kisses. Oh, you're so close. You did it. <laughs> you got inside. Oh, now we're climbing out. Okay. He is so busy, you guys. He's such a busy baby. Oh, you're losing a shoe. Oh, so many kisses. So nice, honey. Ignore baby shark in the background. Ben has this like music book and it's his favorite thing ever and we keep it in the car. I thought we were gonna need two cars to get all the Christmas stuff. We didn't, we were able to put it all in Ty's car. Um, so we drove separately. But we have all the Christmas stuff for the most part. I think we have some stuff up in our attic that we need to get out. Ty's calling me. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop again. Do you want anything? Can you get me? A nice cold Coke Zero. Yes. Thank you. Bottle? Bottle. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. We just brought everything inside, and Ty's bringing in the tree right now. I don't know how much decorating is actually going to happen tonight, but I do want to get the tree up, so we will be doing that. Um, also, like, this used to be decorated. Things are just different now because we have a toddler. All of our decor is up there, yeah, so I don't right, know. Right. Yeah, like I don't know. I'm out of breath right now too, if you can't tell from carrying all that stuff. But um, a lot of this is like not even going to be touched just because it is what it is. But I'm thinking maybe we'll do the Christmas tree thing up here again. Who remembers that? I feel like I'm wanting that this year. I don't know, we'll see. Last year's decorate video, which, okay, it wasn't really a decorate with me video. It was pretty lame, but we had a newborn and it was just like, we didn't really decorate much because we traveled last year. So it was pretty was subpar. Yes, we had a newborn and we traveled. So decorating last year was very minimal. But in the past, I have done like major decorate with me videos, which I will link below if you guys want like a full motivating decorating video, go watch those. This is not the video. This is going to be a do what I can when I can type of uh, decorating video. So probably gonna be doing a little bit every single day. It's the time of year, winter wonderland. <laughs> my winter wonderland. It's the time of year, my winter wonderland. My winter wonderland. It's a Christmas miracle. What is Christmas? Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Sushi. All right, we're gonna need to do some fluffing, um, but I've got to break and get the kids dinner because it's almost six o'clock. Um, it's chicken nuggets tonight. Chicken nugget night. What chicken nuggets? Dinosaur chicken nuggets. Cool. Is that a good thing? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. You're doing great, Ty. I do what I can. We have KU basketball on right now. I'm gonna change the frame TV to something Christmassy when KU's not playing. But I've been spending all evening just slightly decorating. I have my tree situation going on up there. Went ahead and fluffed the tree, got the lights, but we're not gonna decorate it until after Thanksgiving because we have a market for Lollico and I'm using a lot of our ornaments for the Christmas tree there. I have our stockings down here. I think I'm just gonna use command hooks and hang them up right there, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna have to go get some. These are some um, Christmas pictures from my mother-in-law. She gave them to us. Also, I need to repaint this wall. We used a touch-up paint and it does not match, so. That's a whole, that's a whole thing. But um, anyways, these pictures are so cool. They're like vintage Santa and I love them so much and they fit perfectly there. I had other pictures hanging up and the nail holes were like the perfect spot to change them out to these. So it worked out really good. Moved our chair over here and then in our hallway, which by the way, I need to change these out. We don't have a one picture of Ben up in our house. That is bad, like that is really bad. He's been in our family for the past year. So well, we need to update this picture wall, print off some pictures of our second child. But this over here is all decorated for the holidays. This is another vintage Santa picture. So I put that right there. Hi. I think it turned out so cute. Very simple decorating, but appropriate now for 
the holiday season. I think that's pretty much all we're gonna do. I did add a few things to the bathroom too, this bathroom in here. So just like some greenery up there and then these little houses down there. Oh, and that little Santa right there. But um, we ended up going through like the attic and I found a big box of Scarlett's old clothes and there's things in there that Ben can wear that were like gender neutral and I pulled them and they're in the washer now. And I think that's so cool because I remember putting them back and thinking like, okay, maybe someday we'll have another baby and maybe someday it will be a boy and I'm gonna keep this gender neutral stuff thinking that maybe he could wear it and here we are. So that was a weird moment. Anyways, I have some work to do at my computer. I'm gonna shut up the vlog. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.